To discuss the alternative HIV AIDS conference, I'm now joined from Vienna by Joan Shenton, founder of the Immunity Resource Foundation. Ms. Shenton, thank you very much uh, for being here with us in the program on RT. If I understand correctly, your foundation disputes the established mainstream scientific understanding of HIV and AIDS. Why is that and what prompted you to set this foundation up? Right. Well, for 24 years now, um, we have been challenging this hypothesis that HIV causes AIDS with leading scientists around the world. And um, I'm a television producer, an independent producer, and I made 11 documentaries on the subject that were transmitted around the world. But it didn't shift opinion. And what is happening this week in Vienna is extremely important because the conference here that we had for two days before the big World AIDS conference has shed light on all the major issues that challenge HIV as the cause of AIDS and AIDS as a sexually transmitted disease. Um, well, John, the question that I wanted to ask you is that uh, if you're rejecting conventional methods of treatment, which you say are still strong, uh, what sort of alternative forms uh, does your foundation have and offer? Well, conventional treatment has actually caused the death of a whole generation of young gay men in America when they were on the high doses of AZT. That is well documented. Not one single young man or woman, and there were a few women, who took the high doses of AZT has survived. Many, many others have survived who haven't taken the antivirals, and many have survived who have taken antivirals at times to damp down what essentially is an immune suppression for many, many different reasons. So it's extremely important to be challenging this hypothesis, which, of course, is tied up with hundreds and billions of thousands of dollars of international money, which have led to absolutely no result. Well, Joan, uh, do we have reasons to believe that alternative methods uh, are more effective than uh, the current mainstream ones? Look, AIDS, as it's called, has remained restricted to the high-risk groups. It hasn't spread as a heterosexually spread disease at all. It hasn't behaved like an infectious disease. So what we have to do is actually change our lifestyle, and that's, you could say that's alternative. Look after your health, not indulge in huge high-risk activity, which is happening now. People are looking after themselves more, who were in the very fast-track life with multiple sexual partners and multiple sexually transmitted diseases. And then, if you look after yourself enough, you will get better. And that is my experience. And I've been watching young people who tested positive many years ago. In fact, we did a test ourselves. We tested 35 blood samples through um, at the University of Surrey, we put 35 samples through three different test kits, and two of the test kits showed reasonably similar results. The third test kit showed 19 people who were in the sort of no man's land area, right? So there were 19 anomalies there, and one of the young people tested negative twice uh, when we took him to two London teaching hospitals, but he had tested positive three times on our blinded trial. So the HIV test is an absolute crime. People really, I mean, when you think that the HIV test, you can test positive for HIV if you have 67 conditions uh, in, in Orthodox medicine, they accept that there are 67 conditions that make you test positive for HIV or can. TB, syphilis, malaria invasive mycosis. Okay, the question that I want to ask you now, I'm afraid I'll have to interrupt you, is that why is it that your theory didn't catch on? Well, it has caught on, if you think. Rethinking AIDS in America has a thousand members. We have a Nobel laureate who supports us. We have at least 500 leading molecular scientists around the world who support the alternative view and challenge the infectious hypothesis. hypothesis. Um, basically, it's very difficult to challenge a major orthodoxy these days because the media is so powerful. The drug industry is more powerful than government. So what you have is a situation where we're David and Goliath, but we're going to get there in the end because by persevering, the truth will come out. Okay. 
Joan Shenton, thanks very much indeed for sharing your views with us. That was founder of the Immunity Resource Foundation talking to us from Vienna, where the HIV AIDS conference starts today.